Day three, championship week. Conditions were a little different today. You definitely saw it around the green, but the wind really played a factor in the scoring today. You saw it both on Throw Pink Championship and on USDGC. There were nerves around the putting green. Whenever there's a little bit of adversity though, you really see the talent sort of rise to the top. And on day three, it was great to see Hannah and Evelina both maintain their game. Both of them are still on lead card going into the final round. We had a little bit of fun on the cart ride yesterday. We kind of picked up on that vibe and here they are on the cart today. How was it today? <laughs> it was fun again, but we can do better. Can you talk about your caddies? Usually I don't have caddies, but now I have realized like how much good caddy can help and like I can get easily more like relaxed and having fun. So it have, have been fun. It's, it's great to have someone there to talk, talk something and knows your game, game plan and game, game style and can help you there. Talk about chicken nuggets or whatever, beach, chicken nuggets, home. Puppies, everything. So the poll, our chocolate poll that we got going on right now? Yeah, how is it going? Finland is losing. Um, yeah, no I think you have mostly I, US yeah. people there. No, no, they no, They have no. never tasted. No, but why? then why, why is like, Switzerland is at 34% right now. Yeah, there is good chocolate too. Yeah, there is yeah. good, yeah, but Second. Finnish chocolate is still better. I think you have paid someone to vote there. <laughs> yeah, like Jeff have made like, Ten fake accounts. Yeah. Dad. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what game are you gonna play tonight? Yahtzee. So who won Yahtzee last night? Me. Me. You did. It's I me. did. Yeah, I did yesterday. I, did. Yeah, I have like huge winning streaks. No, you yeah, know what? a couple of days back, but. Not yesterday. Every I time we everything. play board games, Hannah always claims to win. I don't think she does, though. Yeah. I do. No. She's a big cheater, then. <laughs> okay, how about... That was my fault. <laughs> Cart Chronicles just took a dramatic turn. There you. <laughs> Thank Go. you, ma'am. My queen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys like to eat? Because maybe we can ask fans to suggest some food for you guys. Yeah, I think like... Chipotle and Chick-fil-A have been the best option. Or Olive Garden, or chicken, Alfredo Texas, pasta. Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, but okay, those four, like we don't yeah. know anything. Submit your suggestions for Hannah and Evelina restaurants to go check out. And we'll check in tomorrow on yeah, that. Yeah, we need that help. Yeah. All right, we need one more Finnish finish phrase. Give me one. Tänään on aurinkoinen päivä. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm not going to have a chance at trying to say that. How do you say good luck? Tsemppia. What is it? Tsemppia. Sempia. Mm -hmm. Sempia tomorrow, right here. For USDGC, there was definitely some shuffling of the cards. Bradley Williams, great to see him out there performing, playing well. He looked really loose, played super confident. One of the things that I had today was fun and uh, encouragement. I know I felt like I, I was uh, very like giving with my energy and I was upbeat most of the time even if I was making bad or good decisions. I think that helped me fight through some mistakes here and there. Usually lead cards are like the worst place to be in disc golf because there's so many people in your way. So you, it really doesn't feel good. Um, people are always rushing to watch and media are in your way and you, you feel like you can't walk around the course the way you want. But Winthrop is so, we've been doing it so long that people know where to be and it's been perfected and I feel like there's space to, to be out there and, and play. You know, one of the things that I like to do if I think about it uh, is kind of figure out which what the course is asking for and then I, ha I develop a little timing and pre-shot uh, routine for that tournament and I have one going into this week that I worked on just a few days before we started practicing so I have kind of like have a little groove that I like and I'm throwing the angles that the course wants me to throw. So it, that's helping a lot for sure. I feel like I need every disc in my bag. Um, I have my XT0 for my little throw in runs. I have my Rolo in my bag for rollers. I have my T Bird 3s for my you know controlled straight shots. I've got my Halo Wraiths for a little bit longer controlled shots. And then I've got some beautiful Halo Destroyers when I need to kind of get it out there a bit. I have a Cayman for 17. I have my Pig for any time I want to throw a sidearm. I wouldn't be able to get through this course without my full bag. Usually, uh, hole two, um, I'm not really in position at all, and I've gotten a birdie every day 
um, and I usually get seven, like it's a no-brainer. And I've been, I've gotten seven this weekend, but I've hit the bamboo every time. Usually hole six, though, is my sweet spot. Usually hole six, I know I'm gonna get a birdie or at least have a chance of birdie. It is exciting that people are coming up and showing you their discs that they collected, and they'll, usually they have some really cool ones from the tournament, and you get to sign it, and that's it's pretty cool. My goal always at this tournament has been to try to get a top ten, so I get the free invite. Ultimately, one year, I would like to take it down. Like, I've always thought it'd be cool to lay up on 18 and get a win on this wood chip green. Um, this is my best position going into the last day that I've had. So it's just uh, been a long time coming. I've been chipping away at it, and it's, it just feels great. Joel Freeman. He didn't really find a consistent rhythm, but he played well enough to stay on the lead card going into the final round. There's always a little bit of guess guesswork whenever you're playing in the wind, and just made some bad guesses today. And uh, yeah, the putting stroke was was uh, avoiding me today. So see if I can kind of smooth out the rough edges a little bit before tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't expect to hold on to my my spot on lead card, but uh, thankful for that. That means I'm right there in the battle tomorrow, and uh, it also is going to matter a lot when it comes down to those late round decisions um, to be aggressive or not be aggressive or whatever it, it is. Uh, it's a big advantage being on the last card of the day. So, In the eight years that I've been coming to the championship, there were more spectators on site today than I have ever seen. The vendor village was packed. Tomorrow is set up to be quite a fireworks show. Tune in to Disc Golf Network, U Disc Live. I have no idea if there are day passes available because this place was packed. We couldn't even find a parking spot today. Enjoy the action, it's gonna be crazy.